I had hoped to talk about joy today, but after looking at the scripture for hours and hours and hours, I suddenly realized that the most important thing we need to be talking about this morning is the story of the woman at the synagogue. Imagine looking down at a tiny square for 18 years, not being able to even stare into someone else's eyes. The pain she must have gone through. But she didn't ask for help from Jesus. Jesus came to her and immediately told her to come over and that he would heal her, and he did. Of course, that brought on all kinds of problems where the people of the synagogue were complaining that he was healing on a Sunday. And yet his reply was, it is justice to heal her at any time. And that brings us to this community of faith. We often wonder sometimes why we come. Is it because of friends we want to see? Is it because you like the music? Or is it because of something else? I believe we're here because we're looking for that reign of God through the realm that we're all searching for as a community to be part of the wish of God and Christ to do good in this world. We can make that woman anybody here. The person who's hurting from grief. Someone who's experiencing anxiety. Someone who's having financial troubles. Someone who's suffering through illness or any of the other things that you can imagine. You can make it that. That's why we're here. They're all being burdened down by the same thing. You could say they're all bent over with all of these anxieties and pain and grief and anything else you might think of. Just like that woman. And Christ has called us not to wait, not to worry about what day it is, not to say to yourself, oh, well, we could do it some other time. But there is the strength of being here in this community and being part of a loving group that cares about each other and cares about others. And so when you look at this woman, it's not about that only woman that's doing this, but everybody else in the congregation. We are called to be part of that realm of God where we can experience what it means to be, to be part of a community of faith. Last week I asked you to think of all the things that give you joy or what is joy been with me my whole life. I named my daughter Joy. Didn't know that was going to be part of it later on. But think back to when you first came to church. Were you five, six years old? Twenty? Thirty? Forty? Is today your first day? And think about what it was like to experience being part of the church. My first memories were watching my parents set up an altar in a school building because they, as Jeremiah had said, were planting a church. And I used to watch the women go through such precise procedures to put that altar up because they had to assemble it every Sunday. And to look at them putting on the various altar cloths because there was a certain way that they had to go and you had to be aware of how they went and everything had to be centered just perfectly and those are the first memories I had. I have a memory of these uh, soloists in the junior choir 
and watching on Good Friday as you hear in a stone cathedral a silent processional where the trotting of the feet down the aisle is so solemn, very scary. And I remember my first solo was worthy there for Good Friday. But then I was also a Southern Baptist in the summer because Episcopalian in the winter, summer with the grandparents. And so we would go to church two or three times during the week. I loved being part of that community. I couldn't wait. When we go again, Grandma? When we go again? So I'm sure that all of you have memories of what that was first like, what you wanted to be, or if you ever wanted to come back. I remember last summer, I think it was last summer, we had a sharing time in Hewitt Hall. I'll never forget it. I've never seen such excitement. People were sharing everything, memories. It was supposed to be the older people telling us their memories. Well, it turned out everybody had something to say. They couldn't wait to share it. I was so excited because it came alive. People were, wow, remember this, remember that? Remember when so-and-so called Lent, Lent, Lent instead of Lent? Or remember when this person, I think there was a story about um, what was it, the cross? Kevin. Yes, <laughs> the cross is a trophy. But we had so much fun that day because we were a community of faith sharing each other's stories. There is joy in being part of this community and there is joy in helping to help others. And when we look at all of that, it's very exciting to be part of a community of faith. My fondest memories are of the children. Not all of you get to experience it. I love listening to Eli say the Lord's Prayer. If you don't know, Eli's only two years, two years old, right? How many of you said the Lord's Prayer when you were two years old? Two weeks ago, Elizabeth had her granddaughter, Lily, sitting over here. We started to say the Lord's Prayer. And Lily looked up and said, Grandma, why are you sleeping? Open your eyes. Yeah. Grandma was praying. And she did It was amazing what came out of her. I'm fortunate that I get to work with the children, so I get to hear a lot of different things. But they, as they say, the faith of a child means so much to everyone. And as I had said last Sunday, I've had a lot to go through this past year. I think Pastor Sue asking me to preach for the last two Sundays has been the best thing that could ever happen because I just went back into my home after being out of it for six months, a lot on my mind, and by having to work through the scripture and spend so much time in the Word, I found that it was a great distraction and something that I could deal with. But things keep playing on you and you think of all the things that need matter. And one thing I really wanted to do today and we'll skip the sermon and do a hymn sing, and that's really where I think we need to be this morning. Uh, I think we've got a couple of minutes, and if anybody has a hymn that they just want to share, I think we should do it. First and last verses, we happen to have a professional at the organ, we can probably come up with that. So does anybody have anything that they really would like to sing this morning that would mean something to them? Yes,
for indulging me on that. I think it's always fun to sing things that mean something to us. So leave today with the idea that we are part of this community. We are here to spread joy, but joy that helps us build the realm of God, looking for all of those who need help from us, taking note of those around us, so that we can build the community of God throughout all the world.